a very good morning to my dear children today in our online class we shall start with our next unit which is unit 4 we have done unit 1 and unit 2 unit 3 we will be doing after we finish all the chapters of unit 4 the first chapter of unit 4 is marketing concept and functions but before understanding or knowing what is marketing you should know what is market in the language of a layman market is a place where buyers and sellers meet to effect purchase and sale means it is a place where goods and services are bought and sold but with diversity in the environment of business the concept of market has changed it is no longer a just a place it basically consists of potential buyers potential buyers matlab who not only need a product but are willing and able to exchange willing and able ka matlab are ready to pay a price for the product for example i may wish a car ki i want a car but only when i am ready to pay a price for it i become a potential buyer thus potential buyers are those who not just need and are willing and are able to exchange the product in exchange exchange means in exchange for some price or consideration so that they can satisfy their needs a market not only constitutes potential buyers but it is also the total of the forces present in the environment which affect demand and supply when the forces of demand and supply operate it results in equalization of prices equalization of price basically means price at which not only buyer is ready to purchase but seller is also ready to sell market as i said earlier it is not just a place because as i said earlier it's not just a place in fact where buyers and sellers meet other than a place let's say for example over internet that also constitutes a market thus our last point is buyers and sellers meet either personally or through different means of communication different means of communication can be through internet telephone email fax etc these all points constitute the new or modern concept of market thus in real sense market means the sum total of the environment in which resources activities attitudes of buyers and sellers affect the demand for product and service thus market is a mechanism through which product and services are exchanged sold and transferred our next heading is how many types of markets do we have market is divided on the following types first is on the basis of geographical area in geographical area there is local market regional market national market and international market where buying and selling are limited only to a particular area or a local area that makes local market where buying and selling are limited to a particular region that constitutes regional market where buying and selling is limited within the boundaries of a particular country that constitutes national market and where buying and selling involves buyers and sellers of different or several countries that makes up international market our next type of market is on the basis of volume of business that means wholesale wholesale market 
retail market where goods are sold in bulk to retailers by the wholesalers makes up the wholesale market and when retailers sell goods in small quantities to ultimate consumer or end consumer that constitutes the retail market next on the basis of subject of exchange first commodity market it is basically an organized market where commodities like sugar tea cotton etc are bought and sold next is capital market capital market is a specialized market which provides long term finance to firms whereas money market is also a specialized market but it provides short term finance to firms therefore the basic difference between capital market and money market is capital market provides long term finance to firm and money market provides short term finance to firms capital market constitutes financial institution stock exchange investment trust insurance company and so on whereas money market consists of different types of banks our next heading is on the basis of position of buyers and sellers primary market secondary market terminal market primary market is that market where primary producers sell their agriculture products to agents secondary market where wholesalers sell their products to retailers and in terminal market retailers sell goods to the ultimate consumers next heading is on the basis of nature of transaction first spot market and future market spot market is a place or market where goods are transferred physically from sellers to buyers on the spot whereas in future market buyers and sellers enter into future contract which means that delivery does not take place there and then goods are delivered in future the basic purpose is to make profits out of fluctuation in prices next on the basis of nature of goods consumer market and producer market consumer market as the name itself tells market where consumer goods are available producer markets where goods which are used in further production by the producers are purchased and sold thank you